you guys, it's Tina, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup collection. First off, um, we'll start off with my brushes. I keep my brushes in this container, and it's just glass, and I've been collecting miscellaneous beads for a while, so I just stuck them in there. Um, they're all different kind of beads, different shapes and stuff like that, and I just have like a bunch, not that many brushes, just the brushes I need. So first off, um, I'm missing one of my brushes, probably my, my my makeup um thing my makeup drawer but it's just a smudger brush which you guys have all seen and the first brush I have is a powder brush and it's really really dense I like it a lot um I use this mostly for like because I don't really need a br like um angled brush to contour so I usually just do like a C shape over here and um I do this like in little areas where I don't want to put too much too much like powder because powder tends to make you look really kind of like fake almost and really shimmery so I tend to just blot it sometimes so that's what I use this for and it's really helpful um and then I have the blush brush you can't see them so I'm not even going to show you the thing um and this is really nice it's super nice actually I love it because it really gets in like in your apples and where you want it to go so it's really really nice and it's really a like a nice like a perfect size because a lot of blush brushes are like this size so I do notice a difference um it's a big difference because for your blush brush you want it to be more like round and this one's more like long so big difference and it's really nice I love it um, and then I have my concealer brush, which is really dirty, but I'm going to go clean it. It's really nice. It gets in the littlest area, so, well, that's all you basically need in a concealer brush. And then I have my eyeliner brush. As you can see, it's really, really thin. So, not, like, as thin as I would hope it to be, but it's thin enough where you can get a, a perfectly straight line, so I like that. And for, like, seven bucks, six brushes was not that bad. And then I have this brush, the famous eyeshadow brush. Okay, so here's the thing. I love this brush, and I use this brush to pack on my white, but I, uh, I usually put a cream base, and then I just pack on a little bit of like cream eyeshadow. Otherwise, this is not good for blending, of course not good for blending, but getting in like small corners and making it look all pretty, I don't like this. Like, I don't like that for this. This is a good, a really good all over eyeshadow brush. Okay. And then I have one of these random brushes that, you know, some people have these random brushes that you don't know where they're from. But this is my only random brush. I don't like having 60 different brushes. So basically, it just has the comb which I believe is for your eyebrows and then it has the weirdest eyelash separator it's so weird it's so thick so I have another one that I use but it's pretty good I use this mostly to comb my eyebrows I don't use it for my um for my eyelashes as much so it's like a dollar I think not bad then I have my four elf brushes um I got these brushes at pay um pay half for one twenty five each so I love these. I don't know what I would do without them. The first brush I have is the professional. These are the pro the, the professional line, and I don't know if you can see that, but it says Elf. And this is the all over. No, this is a total face brush. So I keep it in this package because I don't like it to get like ruined. So it is really dense. When I mean dense, it is like packed in there, and I like that a lot. And I tend to always, like, okay, so see how this is, like, cylinder shape? So, like, this side gets really, like, flattened. Um, a trick that I use is every, like, every couple days, that you, every time you use it, just kind of flip it wherever you think it needs to get more rounder, and it'll come out better. So, this face, this brush is great. I take it, and I'm just like, and it's just, it's flawless, so I love it. And it really gives me really good skin. And yeah, so it has really nice synth synthetic brushes. Then my ultimate, ultimate favorite brush is the foundation brush. And these are a perfect size. And I love this brush because it looks just like a paintbrush. Um, 
it it's kind of orange but right now it's like my colored skin tone so it's like an orange brush and if you see these anywhere i recommend you getting them so it's really really nice and it, you do upward strokes and it gives you a flawless finish then i have these two eyeshadow brushes this one is oh my god it's peeling the defining eye brush love it um i just filmed a tutorial and i use this to like get color over here and then I use my beautiful, amazing blending eye brush to get in the corner. So uh, these are like partners in crime. I just love them. All right. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys everything. So I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna show you guys my face stuff. I keep all my face products in this Modella bag, which used to be my makeup bag, but I had to upgrade. And the second I'm done with this video, I have this big, huge, amazing makeup bag and I'm gonna go get and I'll probably have a part two of this so I'll show you guys that when I'm done um so here's my makeup bag and it was just really cheap at Walmart so I got it all right so first off I have my glam bronzer from L'Oreal Paris which is limited edition so I'll just show you a really quick peek of what it, was inside, what it looks inside so yeah I hit pan on it and I just love this stuff it's limited edition so I don't know if I can get it anymore and this is like a good 13 bucks. And then I have this bronze booster from Physicians Formula, which I believe is going out of business. I don't know. So it has a nice mirror right there, which is dirty right now. And yeah, it's a really nice color. And it's supposed to have a brush, but the brush is like long gone. I don't know where it is, but it was a really good brush. Then I have my concealer, which is also from Physicians Formula. And it's really dry. I hate this. It's so dry. Ooh, it annoys me. It does not want to get on my brush. It's really dry. I hate it. Okay. Then I have my CoverGirl True Blends Micro Minerals. And it comes to the Kabuki. So yeah, this stuff is good. It just it smells really bad. And I don't like putting it on because it makes me smell like those old ladies that put a shitload of makeup on. Then I have my Jordana Forever Flawless pressed powder in creamy beige and um it's really 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 nice but it's kind of a little too light for me it's good for me at the moment but not in the summer and i just have my pat the um, patty thingy i don't know what the heck that's called okay then i have my foundation which is from you can't even see it um it's oil control clean makeup from covergirl and I'm in Creamy Natural. And oh my god, I'm almost out of it. Let me show you another side. It's like up to here right now. That's bad. <laughs> okay. Then I have my blush that is from um, Wet n Wild. And it's a silk finish. I got this for a dollar. Um, and I don't use these brushes. I'll show you why. They're super, super like, like yucky. Look at that. Look how long that is. How can you possibly apply brush with the flattest brush you've ever seen that you can use to do your eyeliner that's how bad it is so i mean if it's to if you want to take this to go i understand but i just don't like it it has the smallest mirror and a really gorgeous gorgeous color and this is in color pearlescent pink rose and doesn't even click i like it when my products click like like that that one doesn't click at all all right then i got my other bronzer bronzer and this is in color acapulco glow and again the stupid brush and as you can see it's like dented so yeah again same packaging and this one clicks yay okay last thing for face and i'm gonna do a part two is this blush i got from zuzu Lux. it's in color fascination um, I've never heard of this name brand, but some lady gave it to me. It was brand new. And it's a really nice, more neutral color. So I like to keep just two or three br blushes. This one's my neutral blush, and the other one's my pink cute blush. So yeah. Um, stick around for part two, and I'm going to go get my makeup bag. See you later. Bye.